good afternoon all now we have already seen in the previous lecture that how can we write a lambda function in this program we will see that how a lambda function can be used within a user defined function and it adds to the capability of a user defined function the code becomes little simpler and much more tasks can be done using this concept so this is a small program in which a user can double a number or triple a number any number which user wants to find out the double of that number or triple of that number it can be done in various ways we have written a small code using a lambda function and a user defined function so see the first line defines a user defined function called my func and within that function a, a small code is written the purpose of the code is that it is returning a number multiplied by another number it is returning a number multiplied by another number one number is being passed within the lambda and the other number is being passed within the user defined function this is the only difference that one number we are passing in a user defined function as an argument and one number is being passed as a as an argument in a lambda function so we call this lambda function once by the name of my doubler and once by the name of my tripler understand this line very carefully this function is called my func which is very clear that a function has been called two is being passed over here and becomes two so what is returned is lambda a colon a multiplied by two so this statement is returned means this statement is written lambda returns the result but we have not called lambda so what is written so this my doubler is this my doubler is equals to my func 2 is basically equal to my doubler is equals to lambda a colon a multiplied by 2 so this is basically this my func is equals to you can say this this is it is represented as my doubler is equals to lambda a colon a multiplied by 2 similarly this statement is basically equivalent to lambda a colon a multiplied by 3 now if you compare this thing with the previous video which we have seen or which you have studied is that my doubler is equals to lambda a colon a multiplied by 2 and my tripler is equals to lambda a colon a multiplied by 3 now whenever i will be calling my doubler what will it do it will multiply the value which will be passing by 2 and whenever i'll be calling my tripler what will it do whatever value i'll be passing in my tripler it will be multiplied by 3 so let's ask from the user that any number you want to enter the number which user has entered when we give it to my doubler as an output we get the double of that number and when the user the same number is given into my tripler as an output it prints the triple of that number so the basic concept which is to be studied is the change is when the function is returned it is returning the complete statement you have to feel like this as if you are writing my doubler is equals to lambda this is the crux of the program now if you run this program you can see the user is asking enter any number suppose i enter 3 so the double of 3 is 2 and the triple of 3 is 9 oh sorry the double of 3 is 6 and the triple of 3 is 9 it gives the double and the triple of the number so this is how we can use the lambda function within the user defined function just see the program again that this is how lambda function can be used within a user defined function thank you